Good morning everybody. So this morning I thought I'd do a slightly different kind of video. I thought I would do a walkthrough of my morning routine. So I'm going to just show you all how I set myself up for the day and what I do to get ready every morning. Now this video may have a little bit of rambling in it, a little bit more talking than normal because I may not edit it quite as much. And that's just because I really want to show you all parts of my morning routine and these aren't really things that I can redo. Once I've written things down, I can't rewrite them down in case I ramble and I need to redo it. Okay, so let's get started. So to start with, I will run you through what I have. So I have my planner, which is my personal Kiki K. And it's kind of my carry-all planner. It has everything in it that I need to do daily. I also have my matching pencil case and my pens. So these are all things that I use in the morning to get ready and prepare myself for the day. I also have over on the side here these two little metal tins. Now I do have quite a large sticker collection. So these are just the stickers that I know that I may want to use this morning. So things that I just might want to pop down for the chores I'm doing or, or whatever it is. I also, in the morning when I'm sitting down to get ready for the day, I also have breakfast. So this morning I woke up feeling a little bit stressed, a little bit anxious for the day, so I do have assignments due. So instead of having my normal black tea, I decided to have a herbal tea. Now this tea is from T2. It is a berry tea. I don't have the packaging anymore. Uh, because I do keep my teas in a tin, so I can't tell you the exact one, but if I can find it, I will um, pop it down in the description, so you'll all be able to actually see what tea it is. Um, but I have a tea in the morning, and this morning I've gone with a herbal herbal uh, fruit tea, actually, sorry, it's a fruit tea, um, and I also am having a slice of raisin toast. So that's what I'm going to be having this morning. And because this is an authentic what I'm doing this morning video, I will probably eat and I'll probably drink some of my tea. So be prepared for that. Um, I may edit it a little bit to edit some of that out, but I will be eating and drinking. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I do in the morning is I open up my planner and I go to my monthly spread, my monthly DIY fish spread. And I take out the tracker. So on the back of the monthly spread, it does fold out. And there is a tracker. And then on the other side, you've got your calendar. Actually, bear with me. I'm going to just move my tea and my raisin toast so I do have more space to show you. And then you have your calendar. So what I want to do is I want to use my tracker. So I'm going to pop it open and take it out because it does make it easier to write in it. And then I'm also going to take out my color code. So this is my color code for my pixels. So what I'm doing is I'm doing my month in pixels and I'm tracking my moods. Now, because I feel like you don't feel the same way all day, I'm doing morning, midday and evening. So I track how I feel in the morning, how I feel in the midday and how I feel in the evening. So first off, I'm just going to figure out how I feel this morning. Now I am feeling a little bit stressed. Um, I'm kind of feeling more content though. I'm not quite feeling happy. Um, and I'm not quite feeling kind of numb or sad. So kind of more of like a content. So I'm gonna use two purples because I'm not feeling I'm not feeling too stressed. It's not just stress. I am feeling kind of mm, a bit content there, which is good. So I'm gonna colour those in. And get that coloured in there. And then I'm going to get my black pen. So um, I'll also let you know I'm using my Stadler pens. So um, these you can get from Officeworks or a few other stores. And they're just the uh, Tri Plus Fine Liner. Now the 10 pack does not come with these colours. It also comes with like a yellow I think. Uh, what I did is I took the yellow out and I added in this extra purple which I just bought as a single colour from Office Works, just because I never use the yellow. So I get my black Stadler pen and in my health section I've got Super Tide and I woke up this morning and 
actually didn't feel tired. I'm actually feeling quite awake. So I'm going to put a cross there. So what I normally do is if I'm really tired, I fill the whole thing out. If I'm kind of tired, but not super tired, I'll fill it halfway. And if I'm not tired at all, I'll just put a cross. So I'm feeling fine, not tired. So I'll put a cross. Now, while I'm just putting the monthly in back in my planner, I will just quickly apologize for the lighting. It may not be the best because I am filming this early in the morning so I can be authentic and show you what I actually do um, early in the morning before I start my day. So the lighting, it may not be the best. Okay, so I've done my monthly tracker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to my day. So I'll open that up. So with the OI Fish, again, you've got your monthly fold out, but then you've got your weekly fold out. So your week also folds out and then you you've got a day on our page, or at least my version does. DIY Fish does a few other versions that aren't exactly like this, but the version I'm using has a month, a week, and a day on a page. So what I do first is I'll fold up my week, and I'll say like, I have nothing on today in terms of set appointments. So I don't have work, I don't have classes, I don't have medical appointments. So I'm going to just quickly fold that back in, and I will ignore that because I don't need to worry about it. Okay, um, and I don't have any assignments due for the rest of the week. No, I don't. So I can basically just ignore that. Okay. So then what I do is I'll fold out next week. So if the week folds out, on the back of next week, I always write down anything important I have coming up. So I do have assignments due. And I can see that on Monday I have two assignments due and on Friday I have a quiz. So I'll just keep that in mind when I'm planning out my day because I will have my study section. Okay, so that's all folded out. It's all ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take a sip of tea because I've been talking so much I haven't had any tea. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at Friday. Actually, I'm going to take out my to do thingy, my little to do bookmark. So this is from Flying Sheep Stickers from her anniversary bundle. She doesn't sell this, um, but if you are interested in her sheepies, I will link her store down below because they are pretty cute, um, but she doesn't sell the bookmark. Okay, so I will look at Friday and yesterday I wasn't feeling the best. So ideally I wanted to get all this done, but I didn't. I did about half of my reading and about half of each of those. I kind of kept getting distracted, so I did like half of this one, then I got distracted, so I did a different one. And well, as you can see, I didn't actually complete any of them except for one. But I got all my normal to-dos done, which is great. So what I do is I'm going to just take these two pages out. I'm going to move this over to the side. And I'm going to have a look here and see what I need to do that I can move across. So what I need to do this morning is I need to do, I'm going to start with the lecture pods because they are generally easier. So I just decided to speed this part up a little bit just because I was just writing down my to-do list but I wasn't explaining anything so I didn't want any of you to get bored by that. Okay so what I've done is I've moved over my lecture pods and my number one reading so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little curvy arrow, which just means that I have moved this over to the next day. And then I've got my English readings. Again, I just decided to speed this up because I wasn't really explaining anything and I didn't want to be boring. Okay, so I've moved those over as well. So those are just bumped over to the next day. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline them. So I'll show you why. So I have another color code back at the front of my planner. And this color code is for my uni subjects. So my whole planner is color coded and green is for uni. So all my uni stuff is written down in green. But to be able to define which subject it is, I have a color code here. Now, um, I have a yellow highlighter for my English but I underline in blue because I don't like the yellow pen and I don't like the blue highlighter. So that has two colors, but for my history subject, it's purple. So what I'll do is I will get my purple pen. 
So I'm using these uni style fit pens from Officeworks, which are build your own pens, um, which they're pretty great. I will link a kind of a tutorial on them or an explanation on them down below in the description that was done by another YouTuber, uh, just because I don't really want to go into too much depth about them. So purple is for my history unit. So I'm just going to underline the things that I need to do for history in purple so I know that these things are specifically history and I'm just going to underline those and these readings are for English so there's no reason really for me to write like my literature subject in front of them because I underline them in pink and I know they're for literature so that's easy okay now that I've moved over what I have from last from yesterday, sorry. I've moved that over. I'm gonna pop that little uh, color code back there. There we go. All right, so I've moved those over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna quickly write down some of the to-dos for the day. So I wanna do some washing. Okay. And I'm filming. I want to edit and post if possible. Might not get this done today because I do need to focus on studying a little bit more. But I'm going to put it down on my to-dos anyway because worst case, if I don't get it done, I will just migrate it over to Sunday. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, I need to wash my hair. Um, Definitely need to get that done. A little bit overdue. Um, okay. Just gonna fill these boxes in. Like outlining the boxes so I know which boxes I'm gonna be ticking. And then what I'm gonna do, just to kind of fill that out a little bit, make it a little bit kind of more colorful, more motivating, is I'm going to pop down a couple of little stickers. So, to kind of match the colour scheme I've gone with for this week, which is kind of greys, blacks and pinks, uh, I might choose a pink washing machine. Now, these washing baskets and machines are from Fox and Cactus, uh, and I will link uh, Fox and Cactus's website down below. Okay, I'm going to pop that down there. And I'm going to wash my hair. So I'm not really wanting to wash my hair. So I might use this cranky washy hair girl, which is also from Fox and Cactus. Okay, so these are also from Fox and Cactus. Um, so I'll pop this one down below. Oh, if I can place it. There we go. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I woke up this morning and like I said, I'm feeling kind of awake. So I have these morning kind of trackers from Flying Sheep stickers and I have Grumpy Morning Girl and I have the Happy, uh, kind of Happy Girl. So I'll show you those. So the Happy Girl, she's kind of like my logo as well. So it's kind of cute. Uh, so I'm going to use one of my Happy Girls and pop her down here. Just because I did wake up feeling quite refreshed this morning, quite awake. And I like to just kind of be thankful for that because I don't always wake up quite awake. I don't always wake up feeling feeling this way. Um, and so I think that when I do, it's good to remember it. It's good to feel kind of thankful for it. Um, you know, so that I can kind of just acknowledge the good things. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these back in for now. All right. And yeah, so these essays have got due. These are the readings for them. I'm not going to worry about the quiz yet because these are more pressing. So that can be folded back in. That can be closed up. Okay, so I'm not going to fill out the tracking thing. I don't have any appointments today. I'm not kind of stuck to a set schedule. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically plan out my morning just a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably think about 
10.30 I'm going to start studying. That just gives me a little bit more time to kind of relax, collect myself, just kind of focus on the day and also get started on doing some washing and things that are a little bit more important. Um, well, that's not true. Studying is very important. Okay, if you're studying, if you're at uni, don't um, think I just told you that studying is not important. Uh, but I haven't done washing in a few days, so it's kind of getting to the point where I really do need to do washing. Um, so I'm going to underline that in pink because I'm going to study English first because I'm a little bit unmotivated about my history unit at the moment because it is a little bit hard. And I got my last assignment back and I didn't do as well as I was hoping to do. And I, I'm not really sure why. No, I can know why. She gave me a lot of feedback. But um, I'm just struggling with that unit. It's a little bit hard for me. So, yeah. English is more my forte. My history major. Mm, it's a little bit more difficult. Okay. Now, the only kind of other thing that I'm going to do before I close this up for the morning is I'm going to put down my weather tracker. I don't always track the morning, but again, this morning I'm feeling like being really thankful. I can already see outside that the sun's coming up and there's no clouds. Uh, so I can already see that it's going to be a sunny day. So I'm going to start by putting the sun down. And that is just kind of remind me it's going to be sunny. It's going to be lovely outside. I can have the windows open. I'm going to be able to do washing and it'll dry. And I can just be really thankful for that. Okay, so... There we go, that's what I'm doing this morning, and I haven't had any of my raisin toasts while I've been filming this, so I'm going to pop my planner away, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast, and I will be sharing this video with you all later. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my breakfast morning routine. If you have any questions, pop them down below in the description. Um, oh, the weather tracker stickers are from Supernova stickers, and I'll link her down below. I sometimes am not the best at referencing stores, so if I ever don't mention a store, please ask down below in the description, uh, in the comments, sorry, and I will make sure I clarify what stores those stickers are from, just because I sometimes do forget, especially since it is early in the morning and I'm mostly focusing on getting ready for the day, not, um, not kind of making sure I'm listing all the stores. It's not something I normally do as part of my morning routine. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Have any questions, pop them in the comments down below. I really enjoyed sharing with you all my morning routine. Um, and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye.